Wellity Wellity Gamers, it's me Dan from Game Reviews AU with another game review. So this game is called Kingdom of the Dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there have been at least, you know, six movies with the same title, but uh, this game, it's pretty hectic. It's, 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 yeah, it's hardcore. It looks very basic. It's got a really nice black and white, uh, very simple aesthetic to it. And it makes it feel like an, an old school black and white horror movie, which is pretty cool. I like that. Now, the whole idea of the game is to run around and shoot zombies, shoot undead monster thingies, and survive. Get to the end objective, beat the boss if, if there's a boss there, and uh, move on to the next level. So, it doesn't really... Uh, uh, take you by the hand in terms of how to actually start playing the game. It just assumes you know how to play a first-person shooter and you know how to interact with objects in a room and then to click on them because you're curious what they do. You start off inside a little building. There are desks and tables and chairs around. There's a little uh, a music box that you can listen to different soundtracks from the game and then there's a little desk that will have little files that you open up and inside these files would be will be the levels that you play in uh, I'm pretty sure they're all they have different difficulty levels and to be fair the first one that I tried which seemed to have the easiest difficulty setting was actually pretty pretty hard very full-on you you can take the choice of just running through the game, running through the level, dodging everything and taking them all on at once, or maybe, you know, waiting for them to crowd around an explosive barrel and then blowing them all up, if you're skillful enough to do that. Or you can try and take them out one at a time, or do it section by section. You do have quite the arsenal of weaponry at your disposal. You've got a, uh, a pistol, you've got a, a, a sword. I like the sword because it, it, it seems to notice where you're aiming at the enemy and then deal damage, uh, you know, as, as it would. Chop off a, an arm or, or just go straight for their head and chop off the head of the neck. It's quite satisfying feeling the way that it it, it lets you do that. Uh, you also get access to a, a rifle, uh, some dynamite, and uh, I'm sure there's plenty more in store throughout the game. The graphics of it, as I said, they're really basic, but at the same time they're really detailed too. But it's not... obviously it's black and white, so if you put too much detail there it would be way too hard to see things and understand what you're looking at but the developers of Kingdom of the Dead they've done an amazing job at making sure you can see where you're meant to be going and it, it's not because the levels you are playing are linear you could probably run around and, and explore absolutely every part of the level probably find a few secrets and whatnot but yeah, you, you can easily tell which way you're meant to be going, which is nice. That That's kind of the only hand-holding you get in this game, but that's that's okay. Throughout each level, uh, there will be little save points. So if you die, you start off at the last save point that you got to. And I like that too, because it means that you don't have to be running through the entire level over and over again, because that would just become really frustrating, and it would get old, and... Me, for example, I would just be like, I'm done. I'm not rerunning that whole level from the start again. Checkpoints, yes, good. I didn't notice if there are any uh, penalties that you will uh, sustain from dying and dying too many times. But uh, yeah, Kingdom of the Dead. Really interesting, uh, very full-on first-person zombie shooter game. I liked it going to give it four out of five stars. If you like this review, please hit the thumbs up button down below, and if you do so choose to do so, leave a comment down below, and 
remember to subscribe to my channel because that's the most important thing. And please check out my Patreon page, read a few more infos. What? Learn more about Game Reviews AU. Yeah. And consider pledging a few dollar redos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.